We talked about strong electrolytes earlier. That's when a compound exists only as ions when you put it in water. There are also weak electrolytes. Here's an example of a weak. It's still an electrolyte, so there are some ions, but not all of it is broken into ions. You may notice this first compound is a nonmetal compound. So since it's covalent, it's usually would it usually would not be an electrolyte at all. It wouldn't break apart to ions, but this one is a base, and we know that's an exception. When you put it in water, it forms these ions. The thing is that once these ions form, sometimes they find each other and go, this reaction goes back the other way. It's what we call a reversible reaction. So since they don't stay broken apart, it's considered weak. Another way to say that is because it is constantly, these are constantly going back and forth. If you look at any one point in time, only a fraction of it is in the ion form and a fraction of it is always in this part. So anyway, it's weak because it's not 100% ionized. Watching for this arrow, the reversible arrow, will tell you when something is weak. When it's strong, there's only a forward arrow. When it's weak, there's the two arrows showing it's reversible. So since it's only partially ionized, therefore it is a weak electrolyte. Okay, so um, we need to talk a little bit about more solubility and ionic compounds because where we're wanting to get is to where we know when we have a compound in water, is it ion in the ionic form? How many ions does it form or does it, is it 100% ions? So anyway, soluble, we know it means it dissolves readily. And we have some rules that tell us which ionic compounds dissolve. There are a lot of rules. You'll find more rules in any uh, chemistry book that you look at. Um, but this is these, these are the ones I want you to know. I want you to know the six ions where all of their compounds are water soluble. There are three, four that are positive. These are the cations, one more. Notice these first three are in the first column on the periodic table on the far left, so that'll help you remember those. Then there's ammonium. Those are the positive ones. There are two negative ones. This is acetate and then nitrate. Those are the negative ones. So um, all of their compounds are soluble. That means all of their compounds are strong electrolytes. Therefore, all of their compounds um, ionize. One hundred percent. Okay, so they're ionized in solution. You need to memorize these six ions in order to be able to do lesson four and the test. Okay. Um, an important note here, and let me switch colors here. So I'm not saying that these are the only compounds are the these that include these ions. There are other compounds that don't have one of these ions that are water soluble. All I'm telling you is that if a compound does have one of these, we know for sure that it's water soluble. So for example, we need to be able to answer a question like this. If I tell you that one of these is not soluble, can you tell me which one is not soluble? Well, we know that this one must be because it has the nitrate. So 
I know the one that is not soluble is this one. So this is the not soluble one. 